SpaceX has made incredible strides with six flights, demonstrating unprecedented progress in space exploration. With such rapid progress, it's no surprise that SpaceX and Elon Musk have begun laying the groundwork to achieve their ultimate goal, the journey to Mars. Among the crucial steps in this monumental endeavor, one discovery stands out, an update to the shield that will protect their colossal rocket in the harsh Martian battlefield, or more specifically, its advanced heat shield system. And here's the interesting part. The project is already in the development stage. So what has been the revolutionary revelation and why is the heat shield a major focus for SpaceX? Let's explore the answers in today's episode of In Our Studio. SpaceX has conducted six Starship flights, with each mission demonstrating significant progress toward the ambition of making humanity a multi-planet species. Among the many technical advancements on display, one aspect stands out as particularly crucial, the heat shield system. Starship's shield is designed to withstand the extreme conditions of re-entry and the ultimate challenge of Mars exploration. Prior to Flight 6, SpaceX announced a groundbreaking step in heat shield development by tweeting, We just tested our heat shield material in a simulated Martian atmosphere as we work toward launching the first Starship to Mars in 2026. The announcement was accompanied by images of the heat shield test and was further detailed in the Flight 6 live stream, providing a glimpse into the cutting-edge research shaping the future of space travel. A circular sample of the heat shield material was placed inside a special thermal chamber to simulate the extreme conditions of re-entry. Using a flame generator, SpaceX successfully simulated temperatures ranging from 1,400 to over 1,650 degrees Celsius or 2,552 to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The flames shifted from blue to purple, visually demonstrating the intensity of the temperatures. The material began to crack and melt as the test progressed, providing valuable data on how it performs under extreme pressure. This control failure is a crucial component of SpaceX's process, as it helps engineers identify weaknesses and push the boundaries of the technology. Adding further excitement, Elon Musk hinted at X that metallic shielding combined with Eulish's gas or liquid film cooling is now a possibility again. This suggests SpaceX is willing to explore a hybrid approach, combining metal and ceramic solutions to achieve superior heat resistance and durability. The goal is to develop a heat shield system that can withstand higher temperatures while still maintaining an optimal mass for interstellar missions. Being in space presents unique challenges for spacecraft reentry. Despite its atmosphere being only 1% as dense as Earth's, temperatures upon entering the atmosphere can still soar to between 1,200 and 1,500 degrees Celsius, or 2,192 and 2,732 degrees Fahrenheit. A reusable and reliable heat shield is not just a feature, it's a necessity for the success of SpaceX's vision. By testing materials to their limits, SpaceX is not only improving the heat shield's durability, but also optimizing its design to reduce mass a factor that is critical for long-duration space missions. Musk has consistently emphasized the importance of this effort, calling it one of the most pressing technical challenges facing Starship. The biggest technological challenge facing Starship is developing a fully and immediately reusable thermal shield. The scale of this ambition is enormous. The current Starship design integrates more than 18,000 individual heat shield tiles, a number that will likely grow as larger or more sophisticated designs are developed. For SpaceX's rapid launch vision to be a reality, replacing thousands of tiles after each mission would be both financially and logistically unfeasible. A fully reusable heat shield system is critical to achieving rapid, frequent launches with minimal maintenance. Progress toward this goal is already evident. After Flight 4, SpaceX made significant improvements to the heat shield, including stronger wings and a secondary shield. By Flight 5, these changes allowed Starship to achieve its first controlled vertical landing. On Flight 6, SpaceX further refined the design by removing more than 2,100 tiles in specific areas to test the system's resilience under extreme conditions. Each improvement represents a systematic approach to one of the most complex problems in aerospace engineering. The true test of the heat shield's capabilities will come with SpaceX's plan to capture Starship using the Mechazilla turret arm. 
A successful capture would validate not only the heat shield, but the entire reusable system, bringing SpaceX closer to its goal of fast and efficient launches. Do you share our excitement about Starship's progress? Please share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on SpaceX's incredible journey. Let's celebrate this bold step toward the stars. Work on Starship's heat shield needs to accelerate significantly as SpaceX solidifies its plans for a mission to Mars. Under Musk's latest tweet, he reiterated his ambitious timeline by stating, I am very confident that we can send multiple uncrewed starships to Mars within two years. If the ships don't add to the craters on Mars, a crewed ship could be launched within four years. Under Musk's plan, the first uncrewed starship mission to Mars is expected to launch in 2026 or early 2027, in line with NASA's Artemis III mission. A human landing on Mars would likely occur in 2028 or 2029 in conjunction with the launch of Artemis IV. This timeline gives SpaceX a little more than two years to accomplish significant milestones, including proving Starship's reusability and perfecting its heat shield technology. Key to this effort will be SpaceX's ability to capture the ship, a milestone targeted for early next year. If successful, that would open up the possibility of rapid iteration, requiring only two or three additional flights to begin reusing the spacecraft. Reusability will depend on the ability to demonstrate the durability and reliability of the heat shield over repeated flights. As SpaceX increases the frequency of Starship launches, projected to reach 400 missions in the next four years, as Gwen Shotwell notes, the company will rapidly gather the data needed to master heat shield reusability. This advancement will not only lower costs, but also ensure Starship is ready for interstellar travel. With Mars on the horizon, the stakes and expectations for SpaceX are at an unprecedented high. To conclude this episode, let's explore intuitive machines and their proposed role in advancing NASA's Artemis program. As Artemis faces challenges of rising costs and scheduled delays, intuitive machines offer potential solutions that could improve the program's efficiency and sustainability. Their ideas underscore the importance of collaboration between NASA and commercial partners for long-term success. On the company's Q3 earnings call, Intuitive Machines CEO Steve Altimus pushed for the development of an affordable, phased roadmap to expedite Artemis. Such an approach would not only mitigate budget and schedule challenges, he explained, but would also enhance the role of innovative commercial companies like Intuitive Machines in shaping the future of the program. For NASA to successfully execute the Artemis program amidst intense global competition, we see the need for reformulation driven by budget and schedule realities. We believe NASA must continue to partner with commercial industry to drive an affordable, incremental roadmap that allows for steady, visible progress. Altimus proposes that NASA invest in the development of lunar data services and infrastructure to address current challenges while laying the foundation for future missions. This includes building experience through smaller robotic missions, providing support to astronauts after they arrive on the moon, and strengthening a sustainable human presence on the lunar surface. These steps, he said, would not only address immediate issues, but would also position the United States to maintain its leadership in space exploration. This strategy would certainly benefit intuitive machines, which has received significant attention in the past two years for its efforts to develop lunar landers and related technologies for NASA. The company is also entering infrastructure projects such as lunar rovers and communications networks that align with Altimus' vision for Artemis. As a key player among NASA's commercial partners, Intuitive Machines has demonstrated strong potential despite current challenges. However, it is important to acknowledge the challenges the company faces. For example, their IAM-2 mission, originally planned for later this year, has been delayed until early next year due to an unresolved dispute over the cause of the delay. Similarly, the schedule for the IAM-3 mission remains unclear. These constraints underscore the importance of intuitive machines addressing immediate operational issues before taking on a larger role in the Artemis program. Nonetheless, their contributions to date, particularly in lunar landing technology, demonstrate that they have the capacity to make a significant impact. NASA's implementation of an affordable, phased roadmap is noteworthy. 
Artemis is currently hampered by expensive and slow systems, making it critical to explore more efficient approaches. However, such changes should not jeopardize the program's ultimate goal of putting humans on the moon by September 2026. Finding a balance between production costs and maintaining mission integrity will be critical. SpaceX is expected to play a key role in this evolving landscape. With its reliable Falcon rockets and the revolutionary potential of Starship, SpaceX remains in a strong position to support the Artemis program and other lunar exploration efforts. Starship, in particular, has the potential to serve as a versatile platform for a variety of program aspects, from carrying heavy payloads to building lunar infrastructure. Collaboration between an industry giant like SpaceX and an emerging leader like Intuitive could significantly advance the Artemis program. With its proven capabilities and innovative proposal, Intuitive could complement SpaceX's technological strengths, potentially accelerating the program's progress. As NASA faces multiple challenges, the decision to adopt a more commercially oriented model or maintain its existing structure will determine the direction of the Artemis mission. Success will depend on public-private collaboration, innovation, and sheer determination. All eyes are on NASA and its partners as they work to overcome the challenges of returning to the moon and exploring beyond. That's it for today's episode. See you in the next one.